so here we go. One out as Kyle Gibson retires. Ralph Tyler on a strikeout. Beautiful pitching for him. So now comes on Terry Gibson throws a plethora of pitches. He is very good. There's a strike. Beautiful pitch. He can throw two seam, four seam fastballs, a slider, change up curveball. That's what he is very good at. And he loves throwing the two seamer on the inside. Lori fouls this one off. So no balls, two strikes to Brett Laurie as he has been a busy man this postseason so far. And fouls this one off. Just barely got a piece of that. Ribbles it to the third base coach, Rivera. And he just throws it into the crowd. So one and two. Oh, and two, excuse me. And there's a base hit as Laurie gets on base again. I tell you, he has been a busy man. He somehow always finds a way to get on base. And ever since he moved up to the second spot, he has been on base every single time in this short, very three-game set so far. So the Twins really need to find a way. They'll throw back the first base, keep Lori there, because he will go as Tula Whiskey stands up. And there's the pitch, and popped this one up. Way up in there, and Pinto takes care of it. There's two ways. Tula Whiskey, since game one, the inside of the park home run, has really not done much of anything else. As he is struggling, and here comes Edwin Aaron Canarcio, three for seven. Two home runs, three RBIs. He is an absolute danger to pitch to. But Gibson fears nobody as he throws that inside fastball, strike one. And there's the boot down in the dirt. So one ball, one strike. And there's a little chop, and this is. We'll throw the first. And there's a 1 2 3 inning for the Twins. Nice play by Iglesias. Uh, for a minute there, maybe he caught it, but no chance. And the Twins get the first three outs of the ball game as the Blue Jays. And the Twins are coming up. There's Michael Wayne, the manager of the Minnesota Twins, as he takes, puts in his lineup Bourne, Marte, Maurer, Willingham, Dozier, Kubel. DHing today, Glacius Pinto and Gunn. And they will face off against Jamie Garcia. 12 and 7 on the year, 293 ERA, 161 strikeouts. And a little bit more runs than Gibson. But we'll see how this control goes today as he is facing a very good lineup. A lineup that just uh, never say die attitude. There's their defense. Everybody is the same, including Shearholz in right field. This lineup worked for them in game two, and they stuck with it in game three. Now, so here it comes Michael Bourne, three for ten, one home run, one RBI. Eight homers on the year. But he's mostly a base stealing threat, led the American League in base steal stolen bases this year with 58. And there's a ball. So, one ball, no strikes. And there's ball two. So, 2-0. Two That's Michael Bourne looking to get on base. And there's a strike right on the corner. But I tell you, that's been a choosy position so far in this postseason. And Bourne rips this one, but oh, it'll, it'll drop. Holy cow. Uh, for a minute there, right, Shearholz had a play on it, and it just dropped right in there. So Michael Bourne on base. And a very big threat to run. Here's Marte, 4 for 10 in the series so far. Garcia knows he's got to pay attention. Bourne on base. And there's a strike with a changeup. He throws a. 2 seam, 4 seam fastball, change up cutter and curveball. And 
there goes Bourne outside pitch and they won't get him as he steals second easily no way that they're going to get him Garcia has a very high leg kick and a little bit slow delivery so that gives the base runners quite an edge and stolen and stealing bases off of him this year but the ball was outside so one ball one strike There's a strike swung at the change. So one ball, two strikes. Mmm, very close. Two balls, two strikes. Try to get him rung up with a curveball. No chance there. Two and two. And there's a ground ball right to third. Lori, nice play. Throws out to Lynn. So one away. Runner can't move to second. I mean the third because of that would have been better going the other way here's Joe Myra 3 for 9 1 home run 2 RBIs 12 homers on the year and he can he can hit one and there's a cutter right there in the middle strike 1 and there's a ball outside so 1 ball 1 strike Right through the middle and Bourne is going to be coming home and the play at the plate not going to get him as Joe Meyer drives in his third RBI of the series and one nothing Minnesota off the bat right up the middle no way Bourne was stopping at third base he just blew right through everything and slides in easily and the Twins take the lead, and here comes Jolson Joe Maurer. Very good power against left-handers. There's a strike right in the corner, inside corner. He can get a hold of one. He's only got two homers on the year, but a couple of years ago he hit 49, lead the American League in homers. And there's ground ball. This is why he does. <laughs> That's a weakness. Rounding into the double play. So one, two, three inning. The Twins do get one on two hits, and the Twins lead it one nothing. Five, six, and seven coming up. Oh, here is Adam Lynn, one for three in the series. His only he started a game two, and then Canarsio played first in game one, and gets in facing off against him. And there's right to the shift, right to gun. Gun playing shortstop, but right to him because of the shift. Boom, right there. Gun didn't have to move far to get that one right. And those are tough to judge sometimes, but he did catch it. So here comes Colby Rasmus sporting the glasses. And there's a strike. Nice pitch. Mike Gibson, Gibson, I'll tell you, he's a complete pitcher since he has been up in Minnesota full time now as a starting pitcher. You know, he's uh, done his duties, there's a ball, as a middle reliever, relief pitcher. Last couple of years, ooh, tough pitch to take there, but ball. He's spent most of the uh, of the last season in Triple A with the call ups of near the end of the season, but I tell you, he has been fantastic for the Twins this year. 14 wins on the year. There's a swing and miss. Brassmus can't come up with that fastball. So two balls, two strikes. Name of the game is get. Get to that closer, Casey Fiend, so he can close it out. So full count here and got him. Nice pitching by Gibson goes full count on Rasmus and Rasmus swings for strike three. As you can see in the series, it's over between Seattle and the A's. So the winner of this series gets the Mariners and the Dodgers polished off the Reds. Three games to one while the Braves and the Mets are knotted up at two all. 
So they will go to fifth game. Here's Nate Sheerholtz, who has been quite the challenge in battling against. There's a strike. Mm. High pitch, ball one. Oh, one ball with strike. Hmm, swung. So one ball, two strikes. Gibson looking good. He's looking polished. The one and two count. Here's the pitch. Ooh, look out inside. Almost hit him. So two, two, two out. No way on. And a chopper foul ball. ball three so another full count gets in grinding this inning into a halt here and got him so one two three inning nice pitching by Gibson and the twins still hold a one nothing lead as the fans are just going absolutely crazy here at Target Field so here's Brian Dozier taking over at second base today giving D Gordon a break he's one for two the pitch from Garcia there's a ball outside so one ball no strikes there's a strike with a cutter so one ball one strike Dozier that's one thing they preach about so well in Minnesota take pitches and our ground ball till whiskey can't come up with it and there's a base hit for Brian Dozier so lead off man on as Till Whiskey tried his best but he just cannot scoop it up as he has basically taken since the trade with Colorado he has taken over shortstop duties from Jose Reyes yep just barely missed so here comes Jason Kubel three for ten one homer six RBIs and those six RBIs were in the first game of this series in that 18 to 5 slaughterhouse game. There's a ball downstairs, ball one. Now Dozier does have speed, he will run. And there he goes. Right down, and yep, they got him. Not for me, there. He might be able to sneak it in there, but no chance. So one ball, one strike. Google still at the plate. And there's a drive. How far is this going to go? It's off the wall. And Google's going to hustle in there, second base, sliding in, and the throw goes to third. So, yeah, we get a runner out, but then we get a, a double out of it. Google just crushed this one. Uh, for a minute there and I might have a chance to get out of here and then you see it starts to die just as it got to the wall been in Toronto this ball would have been gone so here's Jose Iglesias uh, Minnesota with a man on one out there's a strike with a changeup Garcia likes to get ahead with that changeup he does so well There's a deep drive. And Sheerholz has a play on it. Cool's going to try to hold slower to third, and he's in there. So the throw is way off the line. So sack fly moves the runner over to the third base. Nice job by Iglesias. Now here's Josmil Pinto, 5 for 8, 1 homer, 3 RBIs. Big 3 run homer in the first game. That really blew the game open. And this is deep, and this is over the head of Ralph Tyler, and he is going to get a double out and arrive in the run as Pinto's really starting to heat up at the right time. And now the pitching coach of Toronto comes out to talk to his pitcher, wondering what's going on with him. Yeah, 
Yeah, they certainly, Walker is his name. They certainly don't need any more easy pitches to hit. Here's Lewis Gunn, 6 for 10 in the series, one home run, four RBIs. Now Lewis leading off here. And the pitch to him, and it's the ball downstairs and changeup. So one ball, no strikes. So 2 nothing Minnesota here in a second. And pop, oops, pop him up. And there's out number three. So, but the two out damage as Pinto drives this one to the wall from in there. I thought this might get out. And then it just right over Tyler's head. And the Twins are up 2 nothing thanks to Kubel and that double of his. Here's Gibson, top of the third, and here's down air Navarro. Three for eight in the series. Biggest thing is try to keep the Blue Jay hitters off line. There's a ball outside. One ball, no strikes. There's a strike. Nice pitch. And there's a drive, and nice play by Marte. Just snagged it. So it went away. So it went away is he is easily retired. And now Gordon Beckham trade over from the White Sox to the Blue Jays. And he's been a fantastic addition to the team. He has really been very good second baseman. Maybe that's just something they needed. And there's a ball upstairs. Look out. I don't think that was on. That was intentional. And there's a dribbler. We're going foul. Two one ball, two strikes. And got him with a two-seamer, so struck him out. Gibson looking fantastic right now. Two and two-thirds innings right now. Beckham just could not catch up to it. Now here's Tyler leading off 111 in the postseason. Struck out in the first inning. Yeah, he's been struggling a little bit, but maybe nobody worse than Still whiskey right now. Strike one on the corner with that beautiful two seam fastball. There's a ball. So one ball, one strike. And there's foul ball with slider. So one and two. So Gibson, what he likes to do is get ahead. foul ball as you see the fans up and roaring up and going here at target field one ball two strikes and a ground ball to the second and Dozier cannot come up with it boy tough tough try there as he tried all of his best but Tyler gets on base so Brett Laurie who got a base hit batting 429 in this series next person that's hotter than him is Encarnacion Ooh, there's the ball. Very close. And there's a foul ball. So one ball, one strike. And the runner going. And they, he's going to have it. So Tyler steals second. Yeah, you're not thinking he might go. Uh, he's known for it. I mean, he sold 16 bases. There's a strike. So, two and two. So, Brad Lorries, he's really running the count in right now. And got him. So, Brad Lorries strikes out, ends the threat. Twin Blue Jays gets one, uh, none. They get a runner second, but no more. And the Twins still lead two zip. 
Oh, by my third here is Michael Bourne. Bang 364 in the postseason. Yeah, he's really rallied up a bit. And that average, there's a strike. He was not looking good, and then he started warming up just a bit. There's foul ball, so no balls, two strikes to Michael Bourne. Trying to keep him off base. There's a ball downstairs, so one and two. So close. And foul ball. And Bourne likes to really try that foul line. He's got the speed to really book it. Oh my goodness, he should have just gone and swung ahead. So he strikes out Garcia's first of the ball game. Now here's Starlin Marte. And Marte base hit, so he gets on base. And Marte, thing and thing is with him, if he if he sees he really doesn't run the pitch count too much. If he sees a pitch he likes, he's going to hit it. And he certainly liked that one. Drove it into right center field for a base hit. So now Joe Maurer standing at the plate, and of course you do have to worry about Marte going. And there's a high strike, probably not popular. And yeah, they try a little quick quick pitch. See if Marte will go. Nope. He's laying off and ooh, just barely made it back. I think he was giving Garcia something to look at there. And again they try this pitch quick pitch. And again does not work. And now they're just gonna chase him back. So two balls, one strike. As they had pitched, trying to do this little quick pitch. And there goes Marte now, and that's a strike, and he's in there. No chance to get him. So Maurer, two and two. Oh, I tell you, that was close. Marte, giving him something to think about there at second. And ground ball right to Beckham, and he throws over the first. So two away, runner moves to third though. So Maurer did his job, moved the runner to third. Fantastic job of Joe doing that. And here comes Josh Willingham. So a chance for Josh driving some runs. And there's a ball downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Willingham, as I said before, has not played much. Harris, Troy Jilowitzki, a little bit. As we're getting to this point of the day, as the sun, the shade is starting to really creep over um, home plate, and the pitcher's still in the sun, so it does make the ball quite a little problem to pick up. So one ball, one strike. And a foul ball. So two hits is all he has given up in this game so far. Two hits. So one ball, two strikes. And a foul by him. 0 for 2 with two ground outs in the game so far. 91 miles an hour.